With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a mass M is broken into two parts of masses M1 and M2. How are M1 and M2 related so that force of gravitational attraction between two parts is maximum and we know that mass capital M is broken into two parts so we can say that the sum of two masses that is M1 and M2 is equals to capital M so we can write M1 plus M2 is equals to capital M now let a small M1 is equals to let it be M and therefore we can say that M2 is equals to capital M minus M1 and we say M1 is equals to M so we write M minus M so this is the value of M2 and M1 is equals to M now according to the question that the gravitational force on this is maximum so for maximum gravitational force is given by that is df by dm is equals to 0 now first we calculate that the force so gravitational force F is given by the formula F is equals to that is G into M let it be M1 is equals to M so let here M multiplied M minus M M2 value of M2 is equals to M minus M divided by R square and we know that for maximum force that is force should be maximum so F maximum so DF by DM should be 0 now we differentiate with respect to M so we can write that is so differentiation of that is d by dm of f d, this is equals to g m m minus m divided by r square is equals to 0 now we differentiate and we get this is equals to that is g by r square is a constant term so it comes out of the differentiation so g by r square taken as a common and we use the product rule of differentiation and so we can write that is m into that is d by dm of m minus m plus and we can write that is m minus m and this is take as a common so d by dm of m and this is equals to 0 now g by r square and this is a small m and capital M is a constant so this differentiation of this term is that is 0 so it differentiation becomes that is 0 so this is 0 and this is dm by dm this is equals to minus 1 and uh, m minus m and this value is that is differentiation of m with respect to m is equals to 1 so we can write that is g by r square is equals to m minus 1 so this is minus m plus m minus m so we can write that is g by r square and into this is m minus 2m is equals to 0 so we can write that this value is equals to and this becomes 0 so m minus 2m is equals to 0 so we can write capital M is equals to twice of M so we can write that is a small m is equals to capital M divided by 2 and we let that is a small m is equals to M1 so M1 is equals to capital M divided by 2 now for the value of M2 so M2 can be written as that is capital M minus a small m1 and value of a small m1 that is this is equals to m minus m by 2 and we get this is equals to m by 2 therefore the mass of m2 is equals to capital M divided by 2 therefore the relation between the two masses so m1 is equals to m2 so this is a required relation between the masses m1 and m2 I hope you understood thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.